This is the outside of the large flow facility at ABB Stonehouse. Here we can test meters up to 3,000 millimeters in diameter using water from the one million litre sump and pumping it up to three tonnes per second. To put that in some sort of context, a million litres of water will keep an average household running for about 10 years and three tonnes per second will fill an average room in about three seconds. The water is pumped through the meter prover down the main feed line into the building where the meter under test is situated. All the way down this line are tapping points which enable us to put insertion meters into the pipe to check that the flow profile is ideal which is necessary for calibration. This is the 30 inch meter prover that's at the heart of our calibration facility. It's the most accurate volumetric measurement device around and enables us to have the facility accredited by UCAS to 0.027 percent. A meter prover is just a U-shaped piece of tube which contains a large ball. Here's an old one that uh, we have here. The ball fits inside the pipe and is pumped around the pipe pushing water in front of it. It fits very tightly so there's no leakage and the ball sweeps the volume of the pipe. We know the volume very precisely and it enables us then to check the flow meters to that same precision. As the ball moves along the U, there are detector switches which detect its position and control the flow meters that are being calibrated. There are four master flow meters in this rig and each one is calibrated individually against this prover every month. Once the water has gone through the master flow meter, it comes along through this pipe above our heads and through the block and bleed valve at the end. We use block and bleed valves because it's important that there are no leaks once the water has passed through the master flow meter. Each valve is equipped with a flow meter and a series of control valves in order to detect any leaks that may occur. If a leak does occur, this information is fed back to the computer which will abort the calibration run. This is the main control room for the calibration facility uh, and we're standing in front of the control panel which is a mimic diagram of the pipe work outside. Over here we have the meter prover that we've just looked at. Here you can see the large U-shaped piece of pipe and in the middle is the microprocessor that we use to control the prover and to actually calibrate it.